Yes! <laughs> Bike already. Oh, I've lost the bolt. That's pretty big to me. By far the most intense leg of the journey so far. Well. Yeah. Oh. Today we've got a little expedition vlog and we're going to be riding from Crystal Palace in London to Brighton on electric vehicles. Tell us about the vehicles. Yeah man, so today we've got his huge La Croix, absolute beast of an electric skateboard. And we've got another one there as well. And we've got a very familiar wild bike, of which we've done a review. We're interested to see how that works. Um, and yeah, we've got multiple other beasts out today, man. We've got the whole gang out as well, so get to know, man. This is going to be sick. I don't think anyone here has done a ride quite this long, although mm. you've done a, unofficially done a ride longer than this. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so we've got 60 miles on the trip to get yeah. there. Um, I've got about 60 miles range on my Lacroix board. Mm. We've got the Wow Bike, which is known Jeez. as one of the longest range electric bikes on the market. Um, and it's a decent price as well, like 1,800 pounds. That thing can do about 100 kilometers. And then we've got my DIY bike, which I've been riding around London for three years. Uh, and that will hopefully do the 60 miles as well. Also just trying to make it a chilled experience so that we can show you that electric vehicles can help you enjoy this kind of activity without having to be a fitness nut like some of the guys over at that cafe over there. Okay, the journey has begun. We are off from Crystal Palace using a little Insta 1R today. Uh, putting down the DSLR, just gonna keep it chilled. Look at that. We got Scott, our leader over here, giving us some indications. Hey. That's it. Five minutes in, we're good, baby. <laughs> I just realized, man, my strategy is all wrong. I'm using free on assist mode. Basically, I'm cheating, man. I'm going downhill. I'm doing it all wrong, man. I need to conserve my energy. I'm on my LaCroix today. I absolutely love my LaCroix. I've been riding it for a year. I've been electric skateboarding for about eight years. And this is where I feel most comfortable on the road. You know, my bike's great, it does the range, carries the baggage, but this is just a whole nother feeling, you know? And going to Brighton on this is an absolute treat. Keep having to tighten that up. Got a little loose pedal on there on the bike already. Oh, I've lost the bolt. You lost the bolt. Oh, how long ago did that come off? Oh, them ones. Oh, mate. I think we lost the bolt. <sighs> to get a bolt back to. We have to just trace back, see if that bolt fell off real close. You've lost the bolt for the bike. He's about to trace back to see if he can find it. it I just had a, a slightly important bolt fall off my bike. <laughs> Bolt, yeah. It's a small black bolt. If we don't find this bolt, we're going to need a bike shop. Um, but currently, that bike can move with one pedal because it's got a throttle on it, which is saving our ass right now. Okay, we've decided we're just going to take our chances and see if we can get there, uh, well, to at least the next bike shop, and then we can get a bolt. How's that well bike? That's lovely, man. This is what I was doing it for, man. Nature. Forget the stress of the cities and all of that, man. We're nature at last, man. Look at this, guys. If this isn't wholesome, I don't know what is. It's more relaxing. Well, relaxing, man. It's more relaxing than being on my couch. Oh, I don't know. And the tracks, right? Oh, 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 Whoa. <laughs> God, I was just saying how relaxing it is. But, yeah. yeah, you're too confident there, man. As a Londoner, I don't get out enough. And this is a great way to be in nature, man. Exhaust fume free. No carbon emissions up my nostrils. What more can you hope for, man? Literally. Yes, yes, boys. Yes. Ah, oh, this is good. 
Most of the time people are using personal electric vehicles just to get around the city and that, but we're using them for a whole different use today. So yes. I'll tell you what, it's a, ta it's a tale of two... <laughs> it's a tale of two halves. I'm cheering... <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I know, man. Don't worry. It's a war, it's a war. Oh. You got your helmet, you're right. We can't have that, can we, guys? I feel like I'm in Spain right now. España? España. You learn any Spanish, yeah? Uh, not much. Oh. Halfords. Yes, guys, Halfords. There's a little shout out to Gabriel Marcham. His dad's an absolute legend and is saving our ass, getting us back on the road. Cheers, mate. No worries, man. <laughs> we have successfully got the bike fixed up. We're on our way now to Weatherspoons in Red Hill to juice up our bellies and our vehicles. I can't wait. Apparently, I'm having to sketch because uh, we had a bit of a charging fail last night. I thought my board was full. I am connecting. Whip, boom! Okay, we're approaching Weatherspoons, our first spot for a bit of a charge and a bit of a break. Hash browns looking like they've been there for years. Legs action! Legs action! Legs, legs! What's going on, Wash? Looks like we've got a little wow problem. Well, you guys told me. I'm trying to figure out what was going on. I was busy trying to find a route. What's well, happening? Apparently, it's not turning on. We'll disconnect the battery, reconnect it. We'll see if that does anything. Maybe it just came loose. Come on. Wow. Hey. Looks like it's working. That looks good. No, oh, it's just enough for me right now. That's buddy. enough. Let's that was a pretty road, quick. <laughs> that was a nice little quick maintenance stop there. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. It has to be quick. We've got 90 minutes. And I'm talking football. It you looks like that, that, that connection for the battery um, took a bit of like shake and it just wobbled loose. So that's something Wow can work on, eh? Mm. That would not be nice, would it? This is mad. It's one of the benefits of an e-bike is you can get through any corner, any little gap. Electric skateboard, you sometimes get stumped. Is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? Oh, look at it, made it. Look at that. A strange place to be. Is this a cycle route, yeah? Yeah, it's telling me it's a cycle route. Look. And we're going down a very ungroomed path uh, right off the highway. Oh, what? watch them. Whoa. There, we got Gatwick over there. Yeah, I sort of forgot to mention what happened to the other riders. Um, we weren't going quick enough for them. Well, suddenly we are in a forest. So when you got weather like this in England, you have to make use of it. This is so beautiful and it only comes for two, three months of the year. And then it's freezing and dark at four o'clock and I'm not looking forward to that. What are you doing, man? Views like this, the ability to actually come out and see this, but it's so nice, man. Get out, man. get outdoors. Just joined onto the N23. I've been warned about this. It's kind of scary, isn't it? <laughs> We're going 23 right now. Nice. Yeah. That bike is impressive. So what do you think of the WoW? Handling it well, huh? What do you think? What do you think? You're the one riding it. I like it a lot. Good. It's like a proper piece of kit, man. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's a 900 watt hour battery, and my one's a two 750 watt hour batteries. Mm -hmm. um, but because that's got a quarter of the amount of power output, it's more efficient, so you get a longer range. Free cola, free charging, nice chat. <laughs> nice. TV on this nice full cool living room. I so see you got a nice full charge. I did have a nice full charge. And then we just blasted it over here at 30 miles an hour. Nice. So we're back on track and riding with the original crew. Tim and Hayden have caught up with us. And um, we had to stop for another little charge uh, just so I could get enough to get to Bristol, to Brighton. I'm going to stop saying that. But now I've got 
Uh, all vehicles are running really well, and we're on the final stretch. Yeah. How's the all doing? Yeah, she's been holding up fine. Motor's been warm, but nothing to cut me off or anything. Yeah, mine haven't cut out. As you can see, we're not very good at getting around tight corners. <laughs> Tell us what you think about what we're doing here. You know, it's uh, it's the first of many personal electric vehicle road trips. It really pushes these vehicles to see what they can do and what they're capable of. Let's go. I've got some icy water and let's just pour it on the edge of the motors and see if we can cool them a bit. Nah, I need that water, that's a bad idea. I, I overheat it too, you know? Yeah. I overheat I'm getting like twitchiness and shit. Yeah, I get a bit. Uh, I've barely got any power now. I checked uh, and I've got like 85 degree motor temperature. Shit, that's definitely by far oh. the most intense leg of the journey so far. We, we, you want it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm changing my belt to avoid the next breakdown. Look at that. See that little yeah, it's about to go, isn't it? <laughs> uh, you take off the bolt. It's quite easy to change the belts on a Lacroix. It can be quite difficult on other boards. Um, I said that, but let's see if this wheel comes off because it gets stuck sometimes. That's pretty pretty, man. There you go. Nice. He knows what he's doing. We're thinking of going to Snowdonia uh, on electric vehicles. Are you guys in? Up Snowdonia? <laughs> uh, up the mountain itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy enough. <laughs> we'll go on the black route. We'll go back route up. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got four wheel drive. Yeah, I'll just tow you all. <laughs> yeah. So we're on the final nine miles. We've got 30% battery, just enough to get me there. Everyone's loving it. Vibes are much better than the start. You know, the breakdowns at the start, that can all be quite stressful. And there's like parts where you're, you're thinking, oh, I don't think I'm actually even gonna make it. Woo! Coming through. All-terrain wheels. Yes! <laughs> Wow, look at that. Isn't that nice? Beautiful. Whoa. Beautiful. Devil's Dyke. Down, boys. Fucking naked. Well done. That was steep, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right here. Yeah. That <laughs> so we've only got like a big train journey and then a nice drive across London afterwards. I'm hitting you up ahead. We're one down. Hayden's had to head off and get back to work. Uh, he's grabbed a lift over there. But uh, yeah, about five miles left and it's all downhill. So Tim's run out of battery four miles from the end, so he's gonna have a little charge. The beer, get it left. Oh, I still think you did well. Yes. I can't believe it after like a gazillion stops. We got Brian about six hours later than the intended time, but they still keep it out, man. There's still vibes to be had, so I'm glad for that. This is proper vibes. This is amazing you know I mean? to see this after COVID. And... Well, my legs are knackered, so this is how I'm riding now. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, I got it. <laughs> We've made it to Brighton. Yes. <laughs> it was an amazing trip. It's taken us 12 hours to get here. It's six o'clock now. We left at 7.30. Um, the start was pretty, pretty hardcore with a few breakdowns, a few problems, but the end was just incredible. And to get down here on personal electric vehicles was an amazing experience. And my LaCroix board has held up really well. A couple of belt changes and a spare tire and that's it. What about you, Wash? Yeah, well, obviously I was riding Moja's crazy, wicked, sick invention. So I had really high expectations going into the ride, but based on everything you told me about the bike, it pulled through, I'm not going to lie. The start was very difficult. There was a lot of stopping and starting along the way, mechanical problems and that. But once it got to the end and it was very hilly, hilly parts, 
the pedal assist came through in the, in the day and I'm just happy to be here, man. I flipping lost. Good in ones. Yeah, I had a great day myself, you know. Um, I, I've come Brighton a few times in the car, motorbike as well. But just going on the, on the bicycle was one of the best trips like to Brighton. And then now we're here, it's really good. Um, I was surprised at how efficient the bike was. I've still got 20% battery left on the bike. Um, and I did... Uh, I didn't do that much pedaling. <laughs> only, only on the hilly parts, but full throttle. Yeah, I just I used the throttle quite a bit, and it, it got it got me here in one piece, you know, and not really any problems. Just adjusted the brakes a couple times, and yeah, that's it. Good fun. Glad I'm here. So what should we do now, guys? We're in Brighton now. Let's go have a beer and a kebab, ice yeah. cream. Ice cream. Nice. Chips. The sea goes. Chips. Chips. Like and subscribe. Plenty more coming up. We want to do more stuff like this. So let us know what you want us to do, and we'll do it. For sure. Anything for the culture. Yeah. Peace out. <laughs>